my fans, some of them, I went and I see diagram like this for physics. The first thing when I do, I had a flip. And I had a flip pass them. Because why? And I don't understand what's in the happen here. So for this video, I want to tell you, one, which topic where this one they come from. Two, what in this thing they talk about. Three, which formula will carry solve this one. Four, how we take solve and get the final answer with these small parameters we don't give us. So if not the first time they join my YouTube channel with this, make you subscribe first to like this video because I will make it make sense for you. Next time you will go visit that topic, read them again. You want to enjoy them. I will like for you soon as it's supposed to be. So first thing first, which topic will this one come from? It come from refraction. In fact, refraction may be the main topic. Under refraction, you can see refraction through glass prism. That means this thing we see like this. Now glass prism with that one. Glass prism, just like the name sound, glass. It be like normal glass. So they, they tell you, this line that they tell you, say now light. Light. Incident ray. Now with this one. I mean, if you call an eye, incident ray. Now light, now you fall inside the glass prism. Just normal glass where you go for hand, light fall inside. The behavior of light when you fall inside that particular glass prism, and be waiting to happen. So then they tell you, say, when that light falls inside the glass prism, it they bend, it they refract, then it they bend. You understand? Because the refraction, they talk about the bending of light from one medium to the other. So this one, an air medium, it can reach glass medium, it bend. When you come on, come out, this same light, when it can bend there, when one can come out, it still bend. You know, still follow the direction of light, the way it carry come. They go say this particular one don't get bad character because waiting, it deviates. <laughs> you shock him. So as he emerge, as he emerge, come out from the prison, as you know, they from the same direction where he carry enter the prison. They say this particular one don't deviate. It don't go. So now make you can cause the deviation angle here. Because one, since the glass prisoner, when light when light enter glass like this, normally with the space, say, the light, because some of them would reflect. Come this side, you see some of the light, they reflect good. I mean, I use dotted line. And you take the space, normally the light is supposed to go like that. All of a sudden, we just don't say it bend. Let me see this thick line. They tell you say the light actually bend. This one now, some of them, they reflect, go this other side. Normally, you suppose they see the arrow, I suppose they go like this, they go. Now you make, if when you even bend, constant bend, come here. This one, they call it like emergent ray. Emergent ray, so emergent ray. E, small letter E, it's on an I. Emergent ray on the full spelling. Emergent ray. This one an incident. Incident ray. This one a reflected ray. The refracted ray. Because this one now refracts. Uh -huh. So normally the formula why I go carry solve this thing. I the derive normally for physics. So I the derive them because I go apply Snell's law. Snell's law now carry derive get the particular formula. But because now jam question, we don't need to derive time no good day. I will just quote the formula we will use and solve. So you don't understand what's going to happen here now. So the incident ray as it falls on this particular glass prism, this glass prism, what's it happen to them? It's on an angle of, uh, angle of, like, now normal, the angle of incident, like, now normal angle of that particular prism, we don't give you that. But immediately as you fall for this particular prism, what you do? He refracts. He refracts. Then he bends. And I know come straight. Like he come bend. Then the arrow we go to follow. As he bend, when he won't come out from the prison, he still bend. He no come in the direction. So we say this particular one. Then be imaginary, and it don't cost. Then cost. Then still now the incident angle, and the ref, and imagined angle. Then cost this deviate devi deviation angle. So this is an angle of deviation. You get point you go reach. We will call that angle of deviation minimum. The minimum angle of deviation. You get point where we will consider to we'll call them the maximum angle of deviation. But now we just call them D. This deviation angle. Now maybe this 30 degrees will then give you. This one are A, normal angle of that particular glass prism. Normal angle of the glass prism. So as you don't get the angle of the glass prism and you still don't get the deviation angle. What did the customer find? They say me calculate the refractive index of a material for the glass prism in the diagram with the result. So the what did they say me find now? now the refractive index now small letter n in the use. If you use small letter n, if you use n way long like this, anyone way if it's no one allah, now be the refractive index symbol. Now what did they say me calculate? Now what is the formula? The sine sine. 
if you use one over two here, if you use if you use a plus d, this angle that is in a a now, the angle of the ahead plus d, which is the deviation angle, all over two, or if you use one over two, then this particular one. I don't know which one you don't see for textbook. All over, if you get another one, sine a over two, which one you don't see before. What I try to say, if you know right and like this, if you see for textbook, sine a plus d over 2 all over sine a over 2. This thing and this one are the same. I will they try to tell you that. So if not this one we they used to, use them, no problem. If not this one we they used to, use them. Anyone we did not the same thing. A, you don't get the value. D, you don't get the value. Waiting again, it won't find nothing. <laughs> Everything done said. So maybe remove this one. If not this one won't use, still use and remove this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. So n now will be equal to sine 1 over 2 into a now it is 60. 60 degrees plus your d 30 degrees over sine a 60 degrees over 2. What will be the next thing we will do? It's simple. So you can say n now will be equal to sine 1 over 2 into 60 plus 30, shaving a 90 degree, 90 degrees over sine 60 divided by 2 will give you sine 30 degrees. We don't almost we don't we don't almost finish work. And now will be equal to sine half of 90 now waiting, maybe 45. Or if you say 1 times 90, 90 divided by 2, 45 degrees now. 45, 45 degrees over sine 90 or 30 degrees. You know, say, yeah, we need to use calculator. We need to bother people with calculator. You need to know this waiting sign 45B. You still need to know waiting sign 30. If you don't know, I will teach you how to get them. You need to survey them for mathematics. If you don't know, I will teach you how to get them. And we will be equal to, what if we sign 45? Sign 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Divide by sign 30 and 1 over 2. I guess I'll go show you how I get an average. May I finish this one? So I want to play with this fraction. Fraction, when you see division of fraction, change division to multiplication. Then invert the term after division side. What I mean by invert the term? Turn the term upside down. Or maybe flip this term upside down. Immediately change the division to multiplication. That's what they do now. So you can say this one implies that root 2 over 2 times 2 over 1. See, so this one and this one will be easily cancel. Root 2 divided by 1 will give us root 2. So the answer to this particular question now root 2. If you know one like that, you use one use calculator, check sine 45, put the answer, sine 30, you put the answer, you divide the answer, you can still give you this one. If you check the square root of 2, maybe if you tally with the same answer. But me, I need to like all those stress of calculator in case you know the option now. If you not give you decimal point, now what you're going to do because the option was for this thing, no decimal point. They don't give different things whether 2 root 2, uh, 2 over root 2, root 2, and all of this. So if you see this kind of question anywhere, I see root 2. It, it depends, you know, if not the same thing. Uh -huh. Let me be the answer to that. So as you be like this, now so it be. I won't change this angle now. This one, now you go try them. Try this thing again. Use this formula, carry down, put the answer for comment section. I will still leave this one for 60, but I will change this particular angle to 45 degrees. Put the answer for me. For comment section now later now i will see you but then i tell you i will teach you how i take this one for maths if you want to get angle of 45 sine of angle cos of angle 45 uh, tan of angle 45 degrees which you will consider right angle triangle like this for every right angle triangle you know see the sum of angle in this right angle triangle now 180 degrees yeah and already 90. let me say for me to get this one plus this one plus this one give, give me 180 when i don't get a 90 yeah, it will be 45, 45. We've got 45 plus 45 degrees. Go give me 90. Then 90 plus 90, 180. Let me just say sum of angle in the right angle triangle is 180 degrees. You understand? Now, what thing we they get interest about? We define sine 45 first. We don't go first to use this one to find sine 90. And another angle I will draw. So to get this sine 45 using this particular one. I will give this guy one unit. I will give this guy one unit. This particular one, you know, if he 
no go ever be more because this particular length, this side now not equal to this particular side, may not be the same side to this particular one. So because of that, I'll give you one unit, one unit, this one, I don't know. So I will say this and my X. I want to find that X. So we know the angle of this hypotenuse, the, the longest side. Now to use Pythagoras theorem, I will say X squared. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the opposite, the sum of the squares of the opposite and the adjacent. So you know, say one square now one, one square now one, one plus one now two, X squared equal to two. So X now equal to the square root of two. So this side now will be X now square root of two. Now be the reason why we get square root of two, I'd only be show you how we get sine 45 to be root two over two. Now what I want to show you here. So now, you can consider waiting be sine 45, waiting be cos 45, waiting be tan 45. You can use this thing they call socatoa. Socatoa. For sine, sine na opposite. Sine theta na opposite of a hypotenuse. And sine 45 degrees now will be equal to, waiting be opposite. You have to be opposite, you have to be opposite because the angles, depending on the one where you want to use as an angle, if I use this particular place, you are not my opposite, you are not adjacent, you are not hypotenuse. So opposite now, now one, one over hypotenuse, now root two. So sign 45 degrees, now one over root two. Why can't they tell you say now root two over two? Because when we see this kind of thing for sword, we need to live like that, we need to rationalize them. So if you want to rationalize this answer, you can say one over root two times root two over root two, according to Sordo. One times root two will be root two, over root two times root two will be two. So that means sine 45 degrees will be root two over two, as I get them for this place. <laughs> you didn't enjoy my class, have you? <laughs> or your comments now? The problem is you go enjoy them, you know, go like them. I will come and see the video, we just get like, just 40 likes or 12 likes, it don't make sense now. As you enjoy them, like them. As you enjoy them, share them. And drop comments say, it they flow. What of this 30 degree? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you before I come out now. So, you don't write that one that one clean now because I need space. So, if one gets for, for 30 degrees, what you go do? You go use full triangle like this. For this triangle, this particular angle, this side, and the same side, in fact, all the sides, then they equal. When all the sides of an angle, they equal, within the quarter angle. Now, equilateral triangle, now, isosceles triangle, now, scaling triangle, now, obtuse angle, put the answer for comment section. When all sides, now, equal, within the name, put that for comment section. I want to show you this video smart. Now, if all the sides, they equal, and the sum of angles in this triangle, now 180 degrees. That means this guy will be 60 degrees. This one will be 60 degrees. This one will be 60 degrees. Because 60 plus 60 now 120 plus another 60 now 180 degrees. Sum of angle in a triangle now 180 degrees. The other one now sum of angle in a right angle triangle now still 180. So as the right angle triangle now all the sides not equal. So the one has to be 90 normally. The other one will be 45, 45. But yeah, everybody will be 60. Now, you define sine 30 degrees. What you will do? Divide this angle into two equal parts. Remember, say you don't give this guy two units, two units, two units. Because say the size, all of them, they equal. So two, two units, now I give them. Now, I can't divide them into two equal parts. You know, say you are at 90 degrees now. You are going form 90 degrees. This one, I don't form right angle. You still don't form another right angle. Where we say, as I divide them into two now, this guy will be two again. You don't share them now because this is not divided into two. This one don't carry one. So don't carry one. They don't divide. They don't separate. So you can see say, everything on again. You notice say, this 60 degree now will share. You can become, yeah, we can become 30 degrees. This other side will become 30 degrees because you don't divide them into two. So you can see say, everything where you see for this left side of the angle, now exactly the same thing you see for the right side of the angle. So you will decide to choose anyone. Anyone will choose if you use them, do anything one day. So if I decide to choose this one where your mind did, so make I take this one like this. And yeah, now we don't get as 90, yeah, now 60 degrees, yeah, now 30 degrees, yeah, now two, yeah, now one. 
It does is everything done soft. You now, if we use this particular thing now, fine sign, 60 degree. If you use a fine sign, 30 degree. If you use a fine course, 30 degree, course 60. If you use a fine tan, 30 degree, tan 60 degrees with this thing will I give you. Sure you understand. Already you don't know that soccer to have been cut. I don't know who can clean now for this place. Remember when they talk about sign, so I know they bother about other one. Sign now opposite sine theta. Now opposite over hypotenuse. Now opposite, we they look for sine 30. So we will concentrate on this angle. Yeah, I know with this one. And any side where the angle they face, now it be the opposite. So the opposite now now one. Hypotenuse, now the side where they face the angle 90 degree will be the longest. Now it be two. Let me get sine 30 degree. Sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 over 2 as a right hand here without the use of calculator. Me, I know, say, I break down everything. No place where you, you miss out. And I know, say, as you enjoy this video, definitely you go like them. You go help me share them too. You go drop nice comments, say, I try. I try. So, now say, be. Any and now, for next video, I will come for you. Quite explain now. Peace and love.